Hello viewers, we meet again in the duration of 22 hours channel. Let's take a few minutes each day to listen to the hot signal, the not able event that have happened on 22 hours channel. In today's news, let's go through the main not worthy contents right away. Dearest teamed audience, affected by the fierce storm Doksuri, Fuxiao province has experienced a powerful storm and heavy localized rainfall, leading to natural disasters in various areas. From the day before yesterday to yesterday, Provincial Chairman Tru Long and Deputy Director Lai Tian from the Provincial People's Committee attended Tian Chao, Fudin, and Fuck Shao to inspect and direct disaster relief efforts caused by the storm and heavy rain. Tru Long emphasized that all localities and departments must fully implement the important guidance from General Secretary Xi Jinping regarding flood prevention and disaster relief, prioritizing human lives, putting in extra effort, never giving up, with a focus on countering Typhoon Doksuri. This strong storms and disaster relief efforts must be carried out faster, more accurately, tightly, and meticulously to effectively safeguard the lives and property of the people and ensure overall social stability. Provincial leaders Lam Baotian, Kwach Ninnin, Vuong Van Lap, Hong Haikon, Trong Ban, and Kang Dao, who are supervising at all levels of the main offices, participated in relevant meetings and inspections. Trulong successively inspected traffic, city infrastructure, riverbanks, water supply, electricity supply, and highways in Tianchao, Fudin, and Fuxiao. Yesterday afternoon, he visited the Provincial Defense Command headquarters to jointly study and assess the damage caused by the heavy rain. He pointed out that this storm is strong and accompanied by strong winds, bringing widespread and prolonged heavy rainfall. The heavy rainfall in Fuxiao, Fudin, and other places has exceeded historical extremes, making the efforts to control the flooding extremely difficult and challenging. All localities and departments must gather 120,000 points of strength, stay highly vigilant, mobilize the entire population, fully prepare, and only withdraw forces after achieving complete victory. The safety of human lives and property must be paramount, paying close attention to geological incidents such as landslides and collapses which may occur due to continuous mountain rain. Enhance inspections, prevention, and take resolute measures to evacuate people from dangerous and critical areas. In Mokland Phi, Fudin, Trulong inspected the water levels and potential risks along the Mokland River, checked the safety of dams, and reinforced the situation. After the storm, some areas were sealed off due to road closures, urban flooding, severe tree damage, and disrupt electricity, water, and communication services for the affected residents. Wherever Trulong goes, he thoroughly understands the disaster situation and emergency rescue efforts, coordinates, and addresses practical difficulties on the spot. At the same time, he undertook a special visit to the Tianxiao Urban Management Bureau and the Tianxiao National Grid Power Company to inspect urgent repairs of electricity and urban utilities. Comrade Tru Long emphasized that the top priority is to restore damaged power infrastructure while ensuring safety. We must exert maximum efforts, race against time to restore electricity, urgently address damage to water, gas, communication, etc., restore transportation by promptly dredging submerged areas, relocating or reinforcing fallen trees, and making efforts to restore normal production and daily life order. It is necessary to announce and update early warning information promptly to receive the highest level of understanding and support from the people. The Central Meteorological Observatory reported at 8.32 that Typhoon Doksuri had weakened into a tropical depression. As of 8 o'clock today, its center was located in Sasong County and Kent City, within Anhai Province. The Provincial Meteorological Observatory of Fukin Province downgraded the storm alert to level 4 at 7 o'clock this morning and continued to issue a level I rainstorm warning. Affected by Typhoon Doksuri, Fukin experienced heavy to very heavy rainfall yesterday. According to cumulative rainfall statistics from 6 o'clock yesterday to 6 o'clock today, a total of 498 towns in 71 districts and counties received more than 100 mm of rainfall, including 140 towns in 30 districts and counties that exceeded 250 mm, and 23 towns in various districts and counties that exceeded 400 mm. Additionally, 9 towns in Hanjiang, Lithan, and Thantuang districts received over 500 mm of rainfall. The highest hourly rainfall was 647. 
8 mm in Boxardown, Hanjiang District, and the maximum hourly rainfall was 151.2 mm in Tenodown, Leithan District. Daily rainfall in Fudin, Fuxiao, and Tianhu broke historical records dating back to 1961. Furthermore, the daily rainfall in Fudin shattered the historical record for the largest daily rainfall in the province's national observatory. The Provincial Meteorological Observatory of Fuxian Province forecasts that today, coastal areas and the northern part of the province will experience heavy to very heavy rain, with localized thunderstorms in Endong and Sundong. Accumulated rainfall in 24 hours is expected to range from 80 minus 180 mm, with localized areas receiving up to 300 mm. The highest hourly rainfall is projected to be 120 mm. Showers will be scattered today with some areas experiencing heavy rainfall. Tomorrow, there will be scattered rain or thunderstorms in some areas, with localized heavy rainfall. Meteorological experts remind the need for vigilance due to the risk of natural disasters caused by heavy rain and storms. Coastal areas are particularly at risk, and secondary disasters such as flash floods, river floods in medium and small basins, urban and rural flooding, landslides, rockslides, and debris flows caused by heavy rain and storms should be closely monitored and prevented. Focus should be placed on Fuxiao City, including Lianjiang, Lakvin, Vindai, Fukdan, and Manhao. Fudin City, including Tianhu, and Tianxiao City, including Weian, and Kei, Vinchuan, Dukho, Hanjiang, Nam Nam, and geological disaster prone areas in Nindak urban area, including Kodin, Hafo, Donan, Chunin, Trudung, Fukan, and Fukdin. There is a risk to road safety. Today, certain sections of roads in Nambin Bu Daisun and Nindak Chunin, Fukan on the Ninthuang Expressway, as well as some sections in Fukxiao, Lianjiang, Tronglak, Manhao, Mavai on the Fuxiaoing Expressway, some sections of Fudin Urban Area on the Tumhai Expressway, and certain sections of Fuxiao, Fukdan, Lakvin, Lianjiang, Tronglak, Manhao Urban Areas may experience high risks to transportation and adverse weather conditions. Please exercise caution. Risk of typhoons and strong winds. Starting tomorrow and over the next two days, there is a high risk of typhoons and strong winds in the fishing grounds outside Fukin, Mandong, Mantring, and the Diaoyu Islands. Areas should return to Hong Kong in a timely manner to avoid strong winds or affected areas. Furthermore, coastal tourism safety management and coastal aquaculture should be well implemented. According to China Weather Network News, as the remnants of Typhoon Doksuri continued to move northward, the rainfall in northern China and the Yellow River area has been expanding since yesterday. As of this morning, Many places have experienced heavy to very heavy rain. The forecast indicates that heavy rain will mainly concentrate today and tomorrow, with rainfall weakening by tomorrow afternoon. Meteorological observations indicate that in the past day, heavier very heavy rain occurred in several areas including southern Beijing, southern Tianjin, central and southern Hebei, central and northern Henan, southeastern Songtae, and western Songdong, thatched Jiatrang, Hindai, Hamdan, North Ham, Tanwang, Anduong, Habai, etc. Localized heavy rain with accumulated rainfall ranging from to 50 minus 389 mm was observed, with Hindai in Hebei province reaching 479.6 mm and Kimban in Suntae province reaching 438.4 mm. The highest hourly rainfall in some areas mentioned above ranged from 40 minus 90 mm. In addition, localized thunderstorms, strong gusts of wind, and hail occurred in Songdong. Evaluating the situation in different areas, from 8 o'clock yesterday to 8 o'clock today, heavy rain and widespread heavy rainfall occurred in southern Hebei, northern Henan, and other places, with significant localized heavy rain. For instance, Thanhong in Hebei province received 284.4 mm of rain, which was a major rainstorm, and Thatch Jiatrang received 110.2. Large rainstorms reached 300 minus 400 mm at local stations. Most of Beijing was dominated by moderate to heavy rain, with some areas experiencing extreme heavy rain, such as Fong Sun Havenlin at 65.1 mm slash H. Rainfall continues to increase in many places. According to the forecast, today and tomorrow will be the core period of this rain spell, with heavy to very heavy rain expected in northern Henan, western Songdong, Hebei, 
Central and Eastern Songtae, Beijing, Tianjin, Central Inner Mongolia, Central and Eastern Songtae, Central and Southern Hebei, and Beijing. There will be heavy rain in Western Tianjin and other areas, as well as heavy rain in some areas along the mountainous regions of Central and Southern Hebei and Southern Beijing, accompanied by heavy rainfall in a short period, along with strong convective weather such as thunderstorms and strong winds. It is expected that the rain will weaken from tomorrow afternoon. Special attention is needed for this prolonged and heavy rainfall event. Taking Beijing as an example, the heavy rainfall interruption is expected to last until Wednesday morning next week, possibly exceeding 70 hours, with accumulated rainfall reaching 200 minus 300 millimeter and 300 minus 400 millimeter in the southwestern region, posing a very high risk of disasters. Despite the fact that the amount of rainfall this time is not always during heavy rain periods, the rainfall occurs in several relatively light episodes. However, the average rainfall amount is not insignificant, and the accumulated rainfall is substantial. Its impact should not be underestimated, and caution is needed. China weather. Calm reminds that today and tomorrow are the core period of this rainfall event, with continued overlapping rain posing a high risk of natural disasters. People need to be vigilant, avoid mountainous areas and other geological disaster-prone areas, refrain from wading through stagnant water on the road to ensure their safety. Meanwhile, 11 districts and counties in Trinkan are also experiencing heavy rainfall. Two small and medium rivers in Kimjong district have lost their protection capabilities to varying degrees. According to hydrological observations from the Trincan City Hydrological Monitoring Station, heavy rain and localized heavy rain occurred in the southeast and west of Trincan from 8 o'clock yesterday to 8 o'clock today, while the remaining areas experienced moderate to heavy rain. Heavy rain occurred in 11 districts and counties, including Banam, Kulong Fa, Vinshuang, Jiangtan, Namswain, Busan, Tianjong, Ingolong, Hujiang, Taesan, and Bantu. Among them, Four districts and counties, including Banam, Kimjong, Dudong, and Taesan, experienced heavy rain. The maximum daily rainfall occurred in Huanggu Village and Gokdi Town, Hujong District, at 135.5 mm. Affected by the rainfall, six small and medium rivers, including the Apeng River, the Nuyente River, and the Mar River in Tianjong District, Trinkan, the Hujong River in Hujong District, and the Hutu River in Taesan District, have exceeded the warning limits. The Nuyente River and the Mar River in Tianjong District are two rivers that have exceeded the safe warning water level. As of 8 o'clock today, all small and medium rivers have receded below the warning water level. Of the remaining 33 small and medium rivers, including the Maijong River in Taesun, the Londam River in Fuklin, and the Yipan River in Banam, water levels have risen by 1 to 10 meters, with the highest water level not exceeding the warning water level. Moderate to heavy rain and localized heavy rain occurred in the Jialin, Kukjong, Bukkin, and Quinjong River basins in Tuzwayan. Moderate to heavy rain and localized heavy rain occurred in the Ingojong River basin in Kuaichao. The water potential at the main control stations of the basic rivers is stable, and there is no significant flood process. The Water Resources Department predicts that from 8 o'clock yesterday to 8 o'clock today, some small and medium rivers in the western part of Trincan may experience floods at different levels, and individual rivers may exceed the warning level. From 8 o'clock today to 8 o'clock tomorrow, the water levels of small and medium rivers in Trincan are generally stable, with no significant flood process. Today's news ends here. If you have any contributions, please leave them in the comments section. If you find this helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your attention, and see you next time. Above with the detailed summaries of the not able contents of the day from 22 hours channel. Thank you all for your attention and staying tuned until the end of this video. Please leave your feedback in the comment section below so that our team can respond properly. Goodbye and see you again in the next new update from 22 hours channel.